Welcome to Kiki Catalyst. This video is an overview on setting up user login credentials. In order to create a QQ Catalyst user, you will need to add them as an employee in the system. To add an employee from the dock area, you're going to select New Contact. If your guided workflow is turned on, you will have the ability to select the contact type. Next, you will select the location the employee will have access to. And lastly, you will type in the first and last name of the employee. At the bottom of the page, you can select Next and the system will take you through individual tabs. Once you're in the guided workflow, you are able to create the user credentials under the User Profile tab. In this section, you can create a username and password, along with selecting an access level. As you can see, we have three listed. User is for a regular employee, local is for an office manager, and super admin is for an agency owner. Also, the user license needs to be switched to active in order for this employee to be able to log in to a specific location or multiple locations. If your guided workflow is turned off, when you select new contact, the system will populate a small window which will allow you to enter basic contact information. Just as we saw a few moments ago, we're going to select the contact type to employees. Once you are done entering the basic contact information, you will need to select Add Contact at the bottom of the page and the system will automatically take you to the Employee Overview page. You will notice all the sections listed under the Employee Info tab will remain open. Once you are done entering the necessary information, you're going to select Save All Changes at the top of the page. In order to create a username and password for this employee, you're going to go to the Permissions tab. In the User Profile section, you're going to select Edit. Next, you will create a username and password along with selecting the access level. Remember to change the user license to active and saving your changes. Under the Permission tab, in Location Access, you can provide an employee with access to one or multiple locations. Keep in mind, in this section, after the email validation has been completed, you can also assign an email address or multiple email addresses you would like this user to use when sending an email from Kiki Catalyst. And always remember to save your changes.